Although energy can be broken down into different categories such as thermal, chemical, kinetic, potential, and so on, we will be referring to energy as electromagnetic energy. Electromagnetic radiation, otherwise known as light, is a pure form of energy. It is frequency and movement. Similar to light, electromagnetic oscillations, otherwise known as sound, are also pure energy oscillations. Sound is a corresponding vibration that must move through a physical medium, such as air or water, and its frequency must lie within the hearing range of the observer or instrument in order for it to be classified as sound. Everything is some form of embodied light, and everything you see is energy. Everything is ultimately electromagnetic energy, vibrating at different frequencies. Every single thing in our observable universe is in motion, even objects that appear not to be moving, such as rocks or trees. At an atomic level and subatomic level, the rock is in constant motion due to the dynamic interplay between the positive and negative forces that give movement to this energy. Everything ultimately comes from the stars, which are plasmic in nature. Everything can return to its plasmic state by being burned, but will never be destroyed. As Einstein once said, Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Subtle energy can be referred to as prana, chi, ki, zero-point energy, the torsion field, organ, tachyon, akasha, ether, tesla waves, longitudinal waves, scalar waves, spirit, holy spirit, the source, the field, the implicate order, gravity waves, neutrinos, and etc. Subtle energy is the same as electromagnetism from a scientific standpoint. It is light, but light at a very high as well as very low frequencies where it behaves differently and responds to different laws. Through studies, it has been observed that like attracts like. In other words, positive charges are attracted to positive charges and vice versa. At a certain key threshold of frequency, opposites attract. To understand subtle energy, think in terms of our current understanding of electricity, otherwise known as classical electromagnetism. As steam is to water, or as water is to vapor, it is essentially the same thing, only finer, more diffuse, and obeys different laws. At a certain key threshold, the water changes form. Subtle energy is present everywhere, electromagnetic energy is present, just as water vapor is present where water is. Cymatics, energy, frequency, vibration. Cymatics is a study of sound and vibration made visible through a medium, such as water in a dish, or a cladney plate, which is a flat metal plate on which a medium, such as salt or sand, is placed with an amp underneath. As the frequencies delivered through the amp change, the geometric images produced by the frequencies also change and differ 
frequency to frequency. The higher the frequency, the more complex geometric pattern displayed. The sound current underlies all of creation. As humans, we are mostly made up of water. Any sound we produce reverberates through us, affecting all structures in our bodies, just as a cladney plate or water dish would. From the tone of our voice to the words that we speak and the sentiment in which we say them, the sounds we make produce a continuous creative structure of vibration within our bodies. It has been discovered that in addition to the traditionally viewed structure of receptors on cell membranes that receive and respond to physical molecules, there are also antenna-like structures that respond to vibrational frequencies at an atomic level. Receptor antennas can also read vibrational energy fields such as light, sound, and radio frequencies. The antennas on these energy receptors are like tuning forks. If an energy vibration in the environment resonates with receptor's antenna, it will alter the protein's charge, causing the receptor to change shape. Because these receptors can change energy fields, the notion that only physical molecules can impact cell physiology is outmoded. Biological behavior can be controlled by invisible forces as well as it can be controlled by physical molecules like penicillin, a fact that provides a scientific underpinning for pharmaceutical free energy medicine. Bruce Lipton, Biologist Ultimately, if we can speak to ourselves and others in a kind, loving manner, we can shift our vibrational bodies to a higher frequency. We can manifest and create our reality with the words we choose to speak and the thoughts we choose to think. To be free from negative thought is ultimate bliss. To shift your paradigm completely to that of a positive paradigm, one can live their best fulfilled and empowered life. The universe exists solely of waves of motion. There exists nothing other than vibration. Walter Russell Everything is geometry. The seed of life, also known as the Genesis pattern, is formed from seven circles. These circles represent the creation of Earth in seven days. The first circle does not correlate with the first day of creation, but rather represents consciousness. It is the core of the toroidal field. Two circles make a vesica Pisces, which holds the square root of 2, 3, and 5, which are all numbers that go on infinitely, and angles of 30, 60, and 90 have the golden ratio of 5. The first circle represents spirit and the second circle represents knowledge, for it offers much mathematical knowledge. 
Three circles represent the Holy Trinity, light. Four circles represent the elements, earth, air, water, fire. Four circles also represent the seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Five circles also represent the platonic solids, tetrahedron, cube, octahedron, dodecahedron, icosahedron. As a whole, the seven circles represent the first week of creation, the genesis and the birth of all that is within this infinite reality. torsion energy. In mathematics, a toroid is a surface of revolution with a hole in the middle forming a solid body. Black hole to white hole vortex, the flow is bi-directional. The electrical energy produced by the heart radiates outside the body into space. The heart's field is not static, it changes depending on what we are feeling. For example, when we are feeling emotions like anger or frustration, the frequencies in the field become chaotic and disordered. On the other hand, when we are experiencing emotions like compassion, care, appreciation or love, the frequencies in the field become more ordered and coherent. In a sense, through the electromagnetic field created by the heart, we are literally broadcasting our emotions like radio waves. Heart Math Institute. The heart is the most powerful source of electromagnetic energy in the human body, producing the largest rhythmic electromagnetic field of any of the body's organs. The heart's electrical field is about 60 times greater in amplitude than the electrical activity generated by the brain. Torsion energy fields, also known as aura, exist around literally everything. People, the sun, the earth, trees, and the entire universe as a whole. Everything is connected. This is why it is essential to embody the frequency of love at the highest vibration. The toroid is nature's vibrational blueprint. Everything is made up of torsion fields. Consciousness focuses inward, and concentrated thought becomes a singularity of limitless potential. Time and space begin as consciousness wraps itself around our universe, forming a fractal border between us and infinity. Consciousness is geometry. The geometric shape used to describe the self-reflective nature of consciousness is in fact a torus. A vortex of energy is formed through the torus, which expels itself and then re-enters itself into the black hole and out of the white hole, continuously flowing back into itself infinitely. Our bodies can see this happen 
from the crown of the head out through the feet. Thus, the energy of a Taurus and of ourselves is continually refreshing itself and continually influencing itself. The golden ratio, also known as the Fibonacci sequence or phi, holds an astounding functionality within nature. It has been known to be a fundamental and important characteristic of the universe for centuries. The Fibonacci sequence starts as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and goes on forever. Each number is the sum of two numbers that precede it. Although it is a simple number pattern, it seems to be a built-in numbering system within the universe itself. The golden proportion can be found in the structure of many insect and animal bodies. A perfect example would be the nautilus shell. Other sea animals embody the phi proportion as well, such as the sea cucumber, radiolarian, starfish, and stingray. Pentagonal symmetry can also be found in the shape of the domestic cat's face. This geometry can be found within nature everywhere such as flower petals. The petals of a flower consistently follow the Fibonacci sequence. Specific examples include the lily, which has three petals, buttercups, which have five petals, chicories, which have 21 petals, daisies, which have 34 petals, and so on. The head of a sunflower is also subject to the Fibonacci sequence, much as pine trees, the needles that grow from pine branches do in small groups. If the number of needles is counted in a given group, the answer will most certainly be a Fibonacci number, with different species of pine making use of different Fibonacci numbers. Most often, 3, 5, or 8 needles per group. The surface of the pine cone is determined by the phi ratio. Once again, being generated by two counter-rotating sets of spirals, much as we saw in the sunflower. In pine cones, we tend to find either 5 and 8 spirals turning against each other, or 8 and 13 depending on the species of the pine tree. Just as the sunflower, the pine cone is a seed bearer. This pattern can also be found within cacti. The counter-spiraling pattern of the golden spiral ratio can be observed in the seed distribution of the cacti. This pattern is synonymous with that of the torsion field pattern, which makes up our entire universe. The phi proportion can be found throughout the human body. Popularized by Leonardo da Vinci's artwork, The Vitruvian Man, the idea of pentagonal symmetry in the human body is prevalent. The phi proportion itself can be found within the bones that make up our skeletal body. 
An example, the three bones of any finger are related to one another by 1.618, and so on. The wrist joint also cuts the length from fingertip to elbow at 0.618. The navel divides the length of the body from head to toe at the golden section. The brow divides the face from the peak of the skull to the bottom of the chin, and the bottom of the nose marks the same division between the chin and the brow. In conclusion, Phi is not only found in the natural world around us, but within ourselves as a human species, proving that all is certainly created with the same mathematical makeup or code.